Okay, we are back from vacation and we are ready to play some 40k. Uh, today we're going to have the Dark Eldar, freshly painted, um, up against the uh, Tyranids with their Gene Stealer Cult allies. Uh, we've got a 3,000 point game of our 6.5 edition 40k and we are ready to go. Here is our Dark Eldar army we have got for an HQ. We've got an Archon with his uh, Incubi bodyguard, uh, five of them in a Raider. Uh, we've got a, another five Incubi in a Venom. Uh, for troops, we've got two 10-man um, squads of warriors in Raiders. Each of those has a Splinter Cannon. We've got two 10-man squads of witches in Raiders. Uh, also for troops, we have two 20-man squads of warriors. Each of those has two Dark Lances. Uh, for fast attack, we have uh, 10 Hellions. Uh, there are two Razor Wings. There's a squad of six Jet Bikes. Uh, oh, and there is a squad of Scourges there. Heavy support, we have two Ravengers and a Talos. Both of the Ravengers are equipped with um, three Disintegrators. Oh, also here we have a um, Beastmaster with uh, eight Chimeras. And I think that's just about everything for the Dark Eldar. So we will go over to the Tyranids and we will see what they are bringing. Okay, walk me through what the bugs are bringing today. So for the Tyranids, we got the Hive Tyrant, a, a unit of three um, uh, Zonthropes, a unit of three Lictors, two units of 30 Gaunts, a unit of seven Warriors, a Tyranifex, and three um, Carnifexes. As for the um, Cultists, got the... Um, Magus, Patriarch, or I forgot his name, um, and the um, Patriarch, 20 Pure Strange Gene Stealers, unit of 20 Neophyte Cultists, 3 Lehman Russes, and an Imperial Bastion. Okay. Uh, any of those guys have psychic powers? Um, the um, Hive Tyrant is using um, the powers of the Hive Mind. The Patriarch is using... Um, brood mind and the Primus is using um, biomancy, and the mm -hmm. zone throw up some have um, uh, one of the hive mind powers. Well, they have the um, what is that? The psychic blast thing. Yeah, the warp blast. The warp blast. That's it. All right. Okay, so we will take a look at our table. Here is our table, all set up with our objectives on it. We've got some impassable buildings, some rough terrain, and some barricades on the table today. Uh, for our objectives, we've got objective number six here, objective number three there, objective number two, objective number five, number one, and number four. So that's where we're at. We're gonna be playing on the long table edge, and we'll see you guys back after deployment. All right, we are all deployed. We are playing along the short table edges today. So this should be kind of interesting. Uh, Tyranids are all set up. They got their wall of Lehman Russes, their big bug over there on the flank, the warriors and the bastion holding down the middle with the Russes and this wall of Carnifexes and um, Gaunts coming over on this side. The Dark Eldar are all deployed up over here, trying to take advantage of the cover and um, not get shot because the Tyranids are going to have first turn. Uh, held in reserve for the Dark Eldar, we've got the two Flyers, the Ravengers, and the Hellions are all coming in in reserve. And over on the other side, the Tyranids are... Um, what's the special rule for the Tyranids? Or for the Gene Stealers, I mean? Um, uh, those are that point. Oh, okay, yeah, they're outflanking. The Rippers are Sky Slashers. The 
Of course, the lictors come in in reserve, and the hive tyrant has wings, so he will be coming in reserve as well. So that's where we're at, and we are off to turn one. All right, the gene stealers are going to be infiltrating, not um, outflanking, so they have set up there on top of objective number two, just um, in the middle of no man's land there. So we are going to um, get ready and start turn one. The Dark Eldar could not seize the initiative, so the Tyranids are, in fact, going first. End of Tyranid turn one. Um, the bugs are marching forward. Basically, um, everything over here uh, ran to try and get as close to objectives as possible. Uh, everything over there ran except for the gene stealers, which are sitting on objective number two. The Lehman Russes have Eradicator. Is that what it is? Eradicator cannons? Eradicator Nova cannons. Nova cannons. So uh, they're out of range right now. Um, Oh, the uh, quad gun up on top of the uh, bastion took some shots and took a wound off the Talos. So that's where we're sitting right there. The um, Tyranids didn't score any objective points um, this turn. So we will go over to Dark Eldar turn one. Okay, end of Dark Eldar turn one. This is uh, where we sit. Uh, combined shooting from the Scourges and the Venom plucked off a couple of these Gaunts. Um, the Jet Bikes turbo boosted to grab that objective. Uh, this Raider flew over so that those guys could jump out and grab that objective. Um, combined shooting from some Dark Lances and um, Splinter Cannons from over there took out a couple Tyranid Warriors here. And the witches uh, crept up the side over there and got out and um, assaulted and then ran down that big unit of gaunts. I was kind of hoping the gaunts would hold, uh, but now I'll have to deal with the gene stealers next turn. Uh, right now, the Dark Eldar have scored two points because we held objective number three and because we held objective number four. So that is where we're at at the end of turn one. It is two to zero in favor of the Dark Eldar. Oh, I'm sorry, three to zero, because the Dark Eldar also now have first blood. So three to zero. On to turn two. End of Tyranid's turn two. Uh, for reserves, the... Uh, Flying Hive Tyrant came in. The, uh, what are those guys called? Sky Slashers mm -hmm. came in, landed here. Another unit of Sky Slashers came in and landed here. And the Lictors arrived hiding back here. Um, the Dark Eldar on their turn. The Nova Cannons from the Lehman Russes over there rained down on this squad and they are now fleeing. And in a combination of shooting and then being assaulted by. The um, Gaunts, the bikes are now fleeing. The Gene Stealers over there assaulted and wiped out uh, that squad of witches that was over there. And that Raider all the way on the other side of the building was hit by the, is that a Tyranifex? Mm -hmm. And uh, his uh, Dark Lance was destroyed. So he's just flying around with no weapon. That is where it sits at the end of Tyranid's turn two. Oh, almost forgot. Um, the uh, Scourges were wiped out by the Carnifexes over there. So that is where we're at. The uh, Tyranids scored a point for controlling Objective 3 at the end of the turn. So it now sits uh, three points to one in favor of the Dark Eldar. We will move over to Dark Eldar turn two and see what we can do. Dark Eldar turn two for reserves. Uh, one Razor Wing came in, one Ravenger came in, and the Hellions came in. Uh, as far as game terms go, the Incubi came in, tried to assault these um, 
uh, Gaunts and only managed to kill a few. The Gaunts are within synapse range, so right now they're fearless. Uh, combined shooting from a whole bunch of Raider Dark Lances managed to take out one of the Lehman Russes. Uh, over here, the Hellions, when they came in, they shot one of the Lictors. And, oh, Splinter Rifle Fire managed to take a wound off the Hive Tyrant. Anything else? Oh, the Talos foolishly tried to assault the Gene Stealers. And as you can see, there is no longer a Talos. And the Gene Stealers are inching their way closer to the Ravager. Uh, the Dark Eldar still have um, one Razor Wing and one Ravager left in reserve. Uh, this turn, they scored one victory point for controlling objective number four, which this squad over here is sitting on. Uh, so now it is a score of four to one in favor of the Dark Eldar as we head into turn four. All right, that's it. We'll see you guys at the end of turn four. I misspoke at the end of last turn. We are on turn three right now. So uh, this is the end of uh, Tyranids turn three. Uh, they are uh, sticking it to the uh, Dark Owl. They are pretty bad. Um, over here, the uh, Razor Wing was shot down by... Who shot the Razor Wing down? Oh, the, um, the Quad Cannon on top of the Bastion shot the Razor Wing down. It did crash and burn, but it landed um, right where it was at. Uh, this, uh, squad of witches, their raider was blown up by, I believe that was the Lehman Russes. Thank you. And over here, the Tyrannifex took out another raider and he's now standing on top of it. And the Gene Stealers took out a Ravager. Uh, here in the backfield, the Lictors beat up on the Hellions, but the Hellions managed to stick around in combat. Uh, over here, the Razor Wings, or no, what are they? Sky Slashers, that's what they are. Uh, assaulted the Warriors, but the Warriors held. And over here, the Incubi just couldn't do that much to these um, Gaunts, so the Gaunts uh, continue to hold because they're fearless. And I think that's about it. Did you score any of your cards this turn? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. Okay, so we are still sitting at four to one. On to Dark Eldar, turn three. End of Dark Eldar, turn three. And the Dark Lances from these raiders took a hull point off of one of the uh, Lehman Russes. The Beastmaster and his Chimera assaulted the Tyrannifex and took three wounds off of him. He killed two of the Chimera in return. Over here, we pumped some shots into the Gene Stealers to try and whittle them down, but um, not much uh, really happened there. Over here, the um, uh, Witches joined into the assault with the Incubi, killed off some more Gaunts, but the Gaunts are still fearless because of the Hive Tyrant being nearby. We only managed to take one wound off the Carnifexes with the um, Venom. The Warriors are holding out here against the Rippers. And over here, the Lictors put the beat down on the Hellions, and the Hellions are fleeing. So that is where we are at. We are headed into turn four. Uh, the Dark Eldar, I do not believe, gained any points this turn. So we are holding on. But the Tyranids look like they're in a good position to uh, snatch the victory. So we'll see how this goes on turn four. Okay, here we are again at the end of Gene Stealer turn four. Uh, this quad gun is really earning its points for the cultists. It took down another raider. Uh, over here in combat, the Carnifex is joined in, but only managed to kill one Incubi. Uh, the Witches and the Incubi put all their attacks into the Gaunts. Uh, the Gaunts broke and the Witches went after them, so that broke the Witches off from that combat. 
over here, the Warriors and the um, Sky Slashers are just having a slap fight. Um, over here with uh, some psychic cursing from the Hive Tyrant, the Lictor over there managed to break these Warriors. Uh, so they're fleeing. A lot of fleeing units over here, as you can see. Um, the Gene Stealers uh, killed off a squad of Warriors that were hanging out back there. And the um, Terrafex and the Beastmaster are just kind of trading blows back and forth. So that is where we're sitting at. Did you gain any other um, points this turn? I'm just um, figuring that out. Yeah, I um, uh, got two points for the um, uh, harness, for harness the Warp. Mm -hmm. I got two more points for Ascendancy. I rolled the D3 and I got two more for controlling three objective markers and again extra one for controlling an objective marker that was under your control last turn okay so what does that take you to total i believe six six oh the gene stealers have or the um tyranids have pulled ahead it is now four to six in their favor so we are going into dark eldar turn four and see if we can snatch the lead back Okay, end of Dark Eldar turn four, and this is where we are at. Our reserves came in automatically, the last Razor Wing and the last Ravenger. Um, the two of them together used their firepower to gun down the Gene Stealers. The Archon and his bodyguard of Incubi got out, and they dealt um, two wounds to the Terrafex. Uh, Tyranifex. Tyranifex, sorry. Over here, the Carnifexes finished off the last uh, Incubi over here, but now they're in combat with the Witches. The Warriors over here are slowly plucking away that um, uh, Ripper Swarm. Uh, the Hellions rallied and combined fire from the Hellions and all these uh, fleeing troops uh, managed to gun down the last um, of the Lictors. So the Dark Eldar scored a battle point for controlling objective two, thanks to an outstretched guy from the Incubi. And we scored one for no prisoners, so that takes us up to six points. And we are now tied going into turn five with six to six. Very uh, gruesome game, lots of carnage, lots of downed vehicles now. And we are heading into turn five. We are at the end of Tyranid turn five. Uh, one Carnifex lost his last wound. The other two are still trying to duke it out with the witches. Uh, over here, we managed to put um, another wound on the Tyranifex. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. The big guy. We managed to put another wound on him, but he is now only at minus one wound because he regenerated just about everything at the end of the turn. Uh, again, the, oh, it wasn't the, uh, the Bastion, it was the Zoanthropes took out another raider, so we have almost, no, all of our regular raiders are down, except for that one that's hiding over in the corner that, um, has a weapon destroyed, so he's trying to stay out of trouble. Let's see, not much else happened over here, so yeah, that's just it, just this combat here. They're slugging it out over there. The Hive Tyrant's trying to maybe get involved in that, but that looks like about it. The Tyranids scored one more point because they took out a vehicle that got them one of their cards. So it is now six to seven in favor of the Gene Stealers. We'll see what we can do on Dark Eldar turn five. Okay, we're going to call the game there on Dark Eldar turn five. The only card I had that could score me any more points was uh, Kingslayer. And I managed to get the Hive Tyrant down to three wounds, but nothing else could poke a hole in him. So there really isn't anything else I can score any points for. Uh, so there's really no point finishing out these two combats. 
So that is where it's going to end. It is going to be in favor of the Gene Stealers, six points to seven. Or not the Gene Stealers, the Tyranids. So that is where it lies. Lots of carnage there. Wrecked vehicles all over the place. How do you feel about that win? Have you felt good? Your side, your side definitely on fought very well. That was a close game. Yeah, lots of poison shots, but when you can't roll those four ups, and you were doing really good with your armor saves, so... Mm. Uh, what was your favorite unit of the game? There were quite a few to pick from. I felt like um, things like the Gene Stealers and the um, uh, um, Lictors definitely um, did, did um, really good. And um, uh, that um, uh, quad gun was definitely good, doing good, good with its um, shots. Yeah, that quad gun was, um, he was dead on most of the game. That was pretty awesome. Uh, I think for me, the things that I was most impressed with... Um, really are the razor wing jet fighters those are pretty fun um and i was actually uh kind of pleased with the venom i originally wasn't going to take it i was going to take another raider but i thought the two splinter cannons on there would be kind of fun so that was nice so maybe uh throw some more of those together all right that's going to be it um we're going to wrap that one up again a victory for the tyranids and we'll be back next time probably with some fantasy thanks for watching